Hello, it is me, I am back, and I've got, and as you can see, I've got a few more McDonald's toys here to open, um, but that's not the reason I'm doing the video. Yes, I knew you would want to come up here as soon as I started recording. Sorry, short interruption by my dogs. This is Sora. And, but the main reason I'm doing this video is because I have a box here that I got from a garage sale that is filled with Happy Meal toys. Um, some are from McDonald's, some are from Burger King. I don't know all of what, I don't know what they're all from. They're from Burger King or McDonald's. Um, I know I saw some McDonald's stuff in there, but they're all open already. They're all open. These three, however, are the ones I'm going to be opening on the video. And then we're going to check out to see what's in the box. So, first up, we have Captain Marvel number... We have the Marvel's toy number one. Um, Captain Marvel... We are gonna open this and try it out. If I can open it. There we go. Got a hole in the package, that's a good start. There we go. And this is Captain Marvel. And there's a button on the back of her head that you press. And she punches. I don't know how well you can tell. That's better. Yeah, I can see on the camera. And her arm. Her other arm is... Can move up and down as well. Next up we have... The Marvel's number five, Miss Marvel, who's not a fan favorite character um, of the Marvel comics. Um, oh, this one opened up really easy. I was going to have to work more like I did the last one. But um, I personally like Miss Marvel. I really do like her. She may not be a fan favorite of the Marvel community, but she's still a good character. So, this is Miss Marvel. And I'm going to put Captain Marvel right there. And there's a button on the back of her head as well. She also punches. And her other arm is other also posable too. Oh, and right there's this little thing right there. Oh, there we go. See how they connect. So these actually connect. And now, last but not least of these, of the ones I'm opening, I have the Marvel's number seven. And it is Photon, or Futon, or I don't know how to pronounce the hero name. I 
I still want to get Goose. I still want to get Goose at some point. But, um, Futon or Fulton or how to pronounce it is actually, um, the little girl. Can't think of her name at the moment. The little girl from, um, Captain Marvel. But she's all grown up now. Captain Marvel takes place at the beginning of the MCU, while the Marvels takes takes place towards where we are now in the timeline. So there's a little button on the back of her, just like the others, and pre and for the heck of it, I'm just gonna connect her real quick. If I can, there we go. And she punches like the others. And this arm can be reposed as well, but it's a little tighter than the others. And that is the three that of the Captain Marvel ones that I had to open. Those I actually got from actual, um, I got those from actual Happy Meals. I'm gonna move these to the side so we can make room for this. So let's see what we got in here. First off we have Oh, I know, um, you guys can't see. Alright, here's first one, um, I'm trying to think of her name. I cannot think of her name at the moment, but she's Gamora's sister, um, from Guardians of the Galaxy. Oh, and there's a little switch on the back of her. And when you... I sing rocks back and forth. That's kind of neat. And when you flip the switch... Her arms move back and forth. It's sort of like she's dancing. <laughs> Next we have DK Donkey Kong. DK Donkey Kong. We have Donkey Kong from the Super Mario Brothers movie lineup. And there's a little wheel on the back of him. Yeah, when you move it up and down, it moves his arm up and down. Alright, who do I got next? Oh, hey! So this next one is a Wakanda Forever. Um movie toy and it is Sir Shuri in her Black Panther outfit spoiler alert if you haven't seen Black Panther Wakanda forever yet um but that's what this is that's actually my favorite so far it doesn't do anything I don't think um, oh, there, it does do something. So 
So it's this. Oh, it's got a tiny wheel. It's very hard to see, but there's a tiny wheel right where my finger is on. And if you move that up and down, it look, works like Donkey Kong does. <laughs> the next one I pulled out happens to be a bobblehead of Groot, which also rocks back and forth. And best of all, it connects the other one that we have here. supposed to anyway. Yeah, it, it's supposed to connect, but doesn't. So put those to the side for now. Next up, we have um, I don't remember its name, but the star, the Luma from the Mario movie. There's a wee, little wheel on the side where if you spin it, it spins the whole figure. Actually, it might be the back now I'm thinking of it. Probably easier to put in the back. It's that dark talk, that cute little dark talking Luma from the Mario movie. So next up we have Cosmo. So this must be the Guardians 3 lineup. I was thinking this was maybe the Guardians 2 lineup. Um because Groot looks like he's baby. For me, that's adult Groot from Guardians 3. Because Cosmo wasn't in Guardians 2. So what does Cosmo do? He's got a waggy tail. That's about it. I don't see a switch. All right, so I think what you're supposed to do, yeah, you're supposed to rock it back and forth and, it, and he wags his tail. That's kind of cute. As you can hear, it's starting to rain, as you can probably hear. Um, I'm in the sunroom and raindrops hitting the ceiling, so if I have to, I can put this on hold and do part two another day. But I plan on finishing this. So next up we have another Guardians toy. And it is of Mantis? No. Okay, what's up with me not being able to remember names today? The girl that can, with the antennas that can read minds. Um. That Drax is in love with. And Guardians 2. And 3. So your name is Mantis, but I could be wrong. I feel like I'm saying Mantis because of Kung Fu Panda. But whatever. There's a button on back on her back, and she waves her arm. 
here's the button. I'll put her with the others. Alright, so next up, take a break from the guard from the guardian stuff. Next up I actually have a few plushies. Taking all three plushies out. So these is a T Y. So alright, so We have one plushie from the Thank You Toy collection, and it's a fish. Really pretty looking fish, too. And then we have some, like, um, ornament or keychain things of the, mask sing of the Masked Singer. I've got a bear and a monster. So I'll put these to the side. But yeah, they look like they could be good use for ornaments or keychains. Except for the fishy. Alright, next up we have another Shuri. We already saw Shuri before. So we got a double of her. There's a double of Donkey Kong. Alright, this one's an interesting one. I actually don't know what this one is supposed to be. Um, it looks like it is a little pod of some sort. And it looks like there's little parts that open up. Oh, is this? I might actually know what it is. Oh my god, it's the turn up. <laughs> I think this is the turn up ship from Lightyear. Oh, I'll be so happy if this is the Lightyear toy. So, there's. Looks like this thing pressed down. Oh, and it reveals something. And oh my god, it's a light year toy. It is a light year toy. It's not Buzz, sadly. Or um Socks. Seriously, I couldn't even think of Socks' name today. Whoa. Wow. <laughs> um, but yeah, it looks like, I think it's supposed to roll, and then pressing this in, this is it. I think I know who it is from the movie, but I can't remember her name at the moment. I can't remember anyone's name right at the moment, apparently, today. Next up, we have... I'm not even sure this is even a Happy Meal toy. But we have a bendy figure of a Valentine's Day heart. It's body parts, bend. Except we have, oh hey, so I'm not sure if this is broken or not, but it's Sylvester from Space Jam. Oh, okay, I see, there's, 
He's holding up a sign. And there's a little trigger on the back. This was used to turn the sign. But obviously the sign, there, there's like a little attachment that goes on the pole. Which I'm assuming is a sign anyway. Um, but the attachment isn't in the box, sadly. So I don't know what the sign is supposed to say. I'll have to look it up later. Alright, next up we have another one of Gamora's sister. Oh, but it's a different one. Maybe not. No, it's the same one. It's a double. It's a double. But, we do have... Oh, then there's a double of Cosmo. So I guess there's quite a few doubles in here. Let's be expected. This is a generous amount of figures. McDonald's toys. And I've got Bowser. Who is supposedly, I guess, supposed to launch something out from his shell. And his mouth. Um, but... The, those attachments aren't in here. Next up we have... Oh, it's another character from Wakanda Forever. And the little wheel on her back. Makes the spear hand move up and down. Next up we have Flounder from the from the live action Little Mermaid set. Who is supposed to move up and down? Rolling across the table. Oh, it's another Shuri. All right, we have another Shuri from Black Panther Wakanda Forever, but it's a different Shuri. She's got Shuri in her Black Panther outfit. Ooh. Donkey Kong fell. We have Shuri in her Black Panther outfit. And now we have Shuri. Sora, no. No. And then we have Shuri outside of her blue Black Panther outfit. That's kind of cool. Next up, we have a figurine of Clayface from um, the Lego Batman movie. I'm actually not sure if this one's even a Happy Meal toy. This might be just a action, a regular action figure packed in with the rest of the stuff. But he's got opposable arms and his body twists. And here's what he looks like. Very scary looking, but also pretty cool looking. I'm assuming he's from the Lego Batman movie. Um, I could be wrong, though. I know Clayface is definitely from Batman, though. And the last two, of course, we can't have Groot without his partner. We've got two rocket raccoons. 
so the first one, I can tell from the base, because I have a few with this base, is actually from the, the Thor Ragnarok set. This is one of the ones I wanted back when they were doing it, which is kind of cool. And there's a button on the back of his head, which swings his gun arm up and down like the others with their hammers and weapons and whatever. I believe I have Star-Lord of the set too, um, by the way, and maybe Groot. And then the other one I've got Rocket Raccoon from the Guardians Volume 3 set, which rocks back and forth. And he works as a He moves. He was supposed to work like a bobblehead. But it's hard to tell when he's rocking back and forth. And that is everything in this box. I will move everything. And try to get a good and try to get a good lineup and then show you guys Donkey Kong can go right there, as well as the other Donkey Kong. Put Sylvester next to Donkey Kong. I will put Clayface over here. Oh, I forgot a Guardian's character. Sorry, this is taking so long. Put the teddy bear there. No, that's not the monster next to the teddy bear. They're both from the Mass Singer. Fish next to Flounder. Sylvester next to the fish. Actually, I'm put the star character, the Luma character, next to uh, the other Mario toys. Try and sort everything out by set. And now, I don't know if I can change the camera direction. I'm afraid to hit that white button. I don't know what that is. Um, so instead, I'll just do this. This. Is 
is everything I have here. Everything I took out of that box. So hopefully you all enjoyed, and I will see you guys next time I have a bunch of McDonald's figures to unpack or open.